G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a curious question for middle schoolers. It goes as follows. Before district play, the Unicorns had won 45% of their basketball games. During district, district play, they won six more games and lost two. To finish the season having won half their games. How many games did the Unicorns play? All right, all right. I kind of got lost as I read that. Didn't quite take in what I was reading. Um, all right, so they're playing some games. So they're playing before district play. So there's before, and then there's during or after or something. All right, there's, there's two cases we've got going on here. So before district play, they had won 45% of their basketball games. I don't know if what I'm about to do is going to be the right approach, but I'm just going to do something. I'm going to like, I kind of have a feel what I need to do. So strategy number one, engage in successful flailing. Just do something along the right lines. Let's do it. They won some number of games. They lost some number of games. And we know the number of games they won out of all the games they played is 45%. That is 0.45 of the games were won. So I could write that as an algebra equation. I don't know if algebra is going to be the nicest way to do this, but the number of wins out of all the games played is 45%, 0.45. All right. Doesn't look pretty, but okay, at least it's the information. Um, then during district play, they won six more games and lost two more games. So the number of wins went up by six. They won W, whatever that is, plus six more, and they lost how many they lost before, plus two more losers. And then what happens? To finish the season having won half their games. So at the end of the season, we're over here. This is half of all the games. Oh, there's a number of wins, there's a number of losses. If the number of wins is, equal to, is half the number of games, must equal the number of losses. Whew. W plus 6 equals L plus 2. All right, so there's, there's a way to get to this question. And this is something. I'm just flailing my way through it. I guess I've got two equations now involving these Ws and Ls. I bet I could do the algebra and everything will work out for me. I can get an answer. That would work. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm actually a visual person. Let me, let me try another approach, because, you know, this, this is good, but there's always more than one way to solve problems in mathematics, usually. So think of it this way. 45%, 45%. I know I wrote it as a decimal here, but it's really 45 out of 100. Uh, so it's really a fraction. Um, well, they're both multiples of 5. What's that? 9 times 5 and 20 times 5. It's really 9 twentieths. So it tells me out of every 20 games played, 9 were wins, which means 11 were losses. So if they were to play a set of 20 games, we had nine wins, we can draw nine Ws, and 11 Ls. Squeaking away, there's 11 Ls, I think. Interesting. And then they said, if you, they played six, uh, six more wins and two more Ls makes these numbers even. So I did six more Ws and two more Ls, and I have equal numbers of Ls and Ws. Clearly that's not working right now. That's 9 plus 6 is 15. That's 11 plus 3 is 13. They're not equal. So just 20 games itself is not the answer. I'll smudge it out with my fingers. But every set of 20 games of this is pattern. So maybe if they did 40 games, there'd be another 9 wins and 11 Ls. So maybe they're in that situation. And what if adding 6 Ws here and 2 Ls there makes the counts equal? If not, maybe 60 games. I could also answer this question by sort of this visual approach, which I guess is still algebra, but just done in a more visual way. That's an interesting way of doing it. So actually, that, that is now an invitation for you. Work through the algebra. Is this a good way to get to the answer or not? Try it out and we'll find out. And try this approach too. See, that gets the answer. Do they get to the same answer? They should. If they do, great. Then look at the essay that goes with this video. Let's compare all our answers together. That'd be kind of cool. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.